Hello everyone and welcome to QuickMed where medicine is explained quickly and easily. In this video, we will discuss how to calculate antibiotic dosages for pediatric patients. Pediatric dosing can be a little bit more involved than calculating an antibiotic dosage for an adult because you have to do weight-based dosing here. So let's talk about the four main steps that you'll need to be able to calculate an appropriate antibiotic dosage. If you're provided a weight in pounds, you first need to convert to kilograms and then we calculate the antibiotic dosage in milligrams. We then divide that dose by the frequency of the antibiotic, which could be twice a day or three times a day, for example, and then we convert the milligram dosage to milliliters depending on the antibiotic suspension strength. The best way to learn how to do this is through practice, so let's start with our case, which involves a two-year-old child with otitis media or an ear infection, and this child weighs 26 pounds. The required antibiotic dosage for this infection is 90 milligrams per kilogram per day, or 90 mg per kg per day, and it's twice a day dosing. The antibiotic we're using here is amoxicillin and it comes in a strength of 400 milligrams for every 5 milliliters of that suspension. We're given the weight here in pounds, so first we need to convert to kilograms and it's important to know that with 1 kilogram there are 2.2 pounds. So this gives us a weight of 11.8 kilograms. We then take this weight in kilograms and multiply this by our required antibiotic dose. So here we have 90 mg per kg per day, so we're calculating the entire antibiotic dosage that will be given in an entire day. So this gives us 1,062 milligrams per day, but obviously we're not going to give the child this entire amount in one dosage, so we need to divide this by two, given that the dosage is required to be administered twice a day. So this gives us 531 milligrams per dose. So this is the amount that we need to give with each dosage, which is twice a day dosing. But now we have a dosage that comes in milligrams, but we need to convert this to milliliters because the antibiotic is going to be given in a liquid form. And each antibiotic comes in a different strength, and here we're told the amoxicillin suspension comes in a strength of 400 milligrams for every 5 milliliters. So we're going to multiply by this amount, but keep in mind that the 400 milligram goes on the bottom of our fraction here because we need to end up with a dose of milliliters per dosage. This gives us 6.6 .6 milliliters that we will administer twice a day. So hopefully this makes sense, but if it does not, make sure you keep practicing because you will get a hold of this. It just requires practice. Here's a quicker way to calculate this if you're interested. Initially, we multiplied by the antibiotic dosage that's required for the entire day, which was 90 mg per kg per day. But we know that we need to break down this dosage to twice a day dosing. So here you could actually change the fraction to 45 mg per kg per dose. So not per day here, but per dose. This just makes it a little bit more easier. It may save you a few seconds because you don't have to account for the frequency here. You don't have to divide by two like we did earlier. This slide here is just for your reference. These are common dosages that we use in pediatric patients for a few different types of infections. And if you would ever like to double check your work or if you'd like to use an online resource, there is a great pediatric dose calculator through MD app, which you can find online easily, and it's free to use. All right, everyone, we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, good luck studying, everyone.